Aisha's Moonlit Walk by Anika Stafford stars and celebrations of for the pagan year. So this is more of a kid's <coughs> storybook and it has a few pay uh, story for each sabbat. So it's all is in the contents there and so you get eight different short really small stories. There isn't any type of like picture and except for the one little doodle at the beginning of each story and so you get the title and which Sabbath it's about. So this one Thank you, Millie. It's a Samhain story. And so, it's just no pictures. So you get it, like, depending on the story, a few pages. And then at the end of each, you get things to talk about. So, like, in the story, people call out their blessings to their beloved dead. What blessings do you wish for your beloved dead? Let everyone have a chance to say his or her blessings out loud. And then you get celebrations. So make witches brew, honor your beloved dead, carve pumpkins, sing. And so like that continues on for each of the Sabbaths. And then you get a little section guide for parents and educa educators. So in that this section you get de decorating an altar, grounding, cleansing, casting a circle, closing, uh, pagan ethics. Then a little information about the pagan holidays. And... Then you get a uh, find out more section. So you get books for uh, music resources and then three websites, websites slash groups in it. And so if you are looking for a few stories for your kids to connect with the, in the Pagan Path, Aisha's Moonlit Walk can be a good starting point, but a con, again, to this book is that if, is, is that there's no vis, no vis, visualizations or imagery to the stories, it's all words, so if, like, your kid needs that visuals, like, Pretty much a lot, like every kid would need a visual, depending like depending on the age. But like if you're good at like the storytelling, they might not like bypass that. But yeah, so it might seem daunting for some kids, but eh, to me, I don't think so. But uh, like I don't have any kids to tell this to, so I wouldn't know. So, but yeah. You got at least something to have a look at if you can find this. I found this at a used bookstore. And yeah, happy readings.